L'Italia è un paese meraviglioso, meraviglioso per la storia, la cultura, la Italy is a wonderful country. It's wonderful for its history, culture, food and wine tradition, the beauty of its landscapes and of course its coasts which are more than 8000 kilometers long. Each region, each land hides wonderful insights that are just waiting to be found. How? This way. If this video clip has increased your desire for the sea, to relax and to have fun, so in a nutshell, your desire to spend a holiday on a sailing boat, well, the time has come to start thinking about your own adventures among the wonders of Italy. Sailing, of course. Oggi con noi abbiamo Iole Pizzi. Today we have with us Iole Pizzi, marketing manager of the Spartivento company. And together we'll go into detail on how to organize your sailing adventure in the best possible way. Hello Iole, thank you very much for being here. Hi Federico, thanks for having me here today. Let's start by giving a sort of definition of what a charter is, because many are approaching this world for the first time and it might be unknown for most. Yes, of course. The word charter generally refers to the renting of boats. They can be sailboats, catamarans, power boats. Our company specifically deals with sailing boats and catamarans. Obviously, the boat can be rented out with or without a skipper. Now that everything is clear, let's get to know the story of Spartivento by taking a few steps back. Also, because of the numbers, as we can see, are really important and interesting. Thanks. Spartivento was founded in 2000 thanks to a shared passion that my father had with a group of friends, who later on became his working partners, which was the passion for the sea, for fishing and boating all together. At the beginning, there were just two sailboats based in our hometown, Reggio Calabria, in southern Italy. Over the years, these two boats have become four, six, ten, twelve. And today we have about 90 boats in the fleet, all over Italy. Notiamo come appunto la storia della Spartivento si sia arricchita nel corso degli anni. Notiamo anche come oggi i monoscafi... We note how the history of the Spartivento has been enriched over the years. We also note how today monohulls continue to be predominant in the construction of the fleet compared to catamarans. But in recent years, we're witnessing a change, of course, because catamarans are also becoming increasingly popular among the Mediterranean public. So much so that we see them cruising around more and more in the hot summertime. So, what is your perception of this? Cosa state percependo? Stiamo percependo un trend che è l'avvicinamento delle persone che non erano mai state vicine appunto. We are perceiving a trend where people who have never been close to the boating world in general are starting to approach it more and more. So, there are families and group of friends who want to discover this type of holiday, and they are able to thanks to the catamarans. Also, because it offers more spaces, more comfort and more stability during navigation. And that is good even for those who might be seasick. Hence, the growing number of catamarans in the Mediterranean. I believe this will be a trend that will continue on for quite some time. Speaking of routes, itineraries and wonderful places that our Italy and Mediterranean have to offer, here, perhaps, is one of the most characteristic and best love that can be recognized immediately, the Aeolian Islands in Sicily, which can be easily seen in a week. 
Your service is not just that of chartering a boat, but also to offer advice to your clients. In effect, what we are trying to do more and more, being more present on the area with many boats, being more and more present in the area with many boats, what we are trying to do more and more is not just to charter a boat, but to allow the travellers who choose our services to discover the area by giving them advice on the route to follow, to help them decide the best pit stops to take and when to take them the navigation times, the nautical miles, but also give them advice on how to best enjoy each island. In this case, what the Aeolian Islands have and can offer. Prima di mollare gli ormeggi è fondamentale una delle fasi before leaving the dock, one of the most important and perhaps most critical phases is that of checking in. That is when you hop on board for the first time and have to somehow get to know the boat quickly, the emergency equipment and whether the instrumentation and various parts of the boat are in excellent condition. Tra le fasi delicate sicuramente c'è anche quella della Cambusa, come in questo caso, insomma, è una foto... Among other things, organizing the galley plays a major role, as in this case. Well, this photo shows a galley from the ARC competition, a rally that crosses the Atlantic. But you see this kind of scenario all the time. I imagine you have experience when it comes to this. So even setting up the galley properly and, above all, meticulously has its importance. Here we have all kinds of products, because the crew has to say 14 to 21 days at sea. But there are those who set up a galley like this one for just seven days. Customers can also send us a shopping list, so they will find the galley directly on board. So if we read something strange on the list, we already try to give some indications. What happens sometimes is that either they exaggerate and then there's not even physically enough room to put all that food on board, or that, on the contrary, the customer forgets basic things like oil and salt and ends up with kilos and kilos of pasta. What are the differences between the way of living a sailing holiday by foreigners and Italians? There are some differences. in primis the stagionalità. There are some differences. First of all, the holiday season. In 2020, the very first year of the pandemic, we worked almost exclusively with Italians. So, basically only in July and August, especially the two middle weeks of August, are the Italian market's favourite. Instead, with foreigners, in 2019, the holiday season started at the end March and ended mid-November. Per quanto ci riguarda, i nostri clienti stranieri sono quasi tutti clienti velisti che quindi decidono di As far as we're concerned, our foreign clients are almost all sailors who decide to charter boats without a skipper or favor boats that are more technically equipped rather than comfortable. Tecnico che di comfort. On the other hand, a lot of Italians are now preferring to take a vacation on a nice 50-foot or 52-foot catamaran with a crew on board and enjoy their August holidays this way. And speaking of being pampered, here is a picture of a pink flamingo, which is a bit of a symbol, even in the past, of a fun holiday. You have also come up with a new formula to ensure holidays in Italy are even more exciting, haven't you? Tell us a little bit more about the Sailux project. Here is a picture of another important part of the experience. Progetto Sailux, intanto ecco, dal fenicottero passiamo invece a quello che è la parte principale, il core di questa esperienza. Certo, perché Of course, Sailux was launched in 2020, which, as we all know, was a somewhat complicated year, and it was sort of a spin-off project of our charter fleet, and it exclusively includes lagoon catamarans with a rich equipment, air conditioning, generator and water maker. Also, there is an exceptional service on board, expert captains as well as chefs who we have trained in collaboration with the Gambero Rosso Academy in Palermo. E chef che abbiamo formato in esclusiva con la Gambero Rosso Academy di Palermo. L'obiettivo era cercare di fare qualcosa. The goal was to try to do something different, to offer a vacation that would be more like a holiday in a five-star hotel.
si tratta di sette catamarani uh, da un We're 40... talking about seven from 42 foot catamarans in the owner's version meaning with a nice master cabin to fit even four people on board, up to a 52-foot lagoon with even five or six cabins. We are waiting for you to invite us. We must try it. Yeah, you must try it, so you can get to know the product and pass on your experience to others as well. There is another painful note for those who charter boats. You are seeing it, the luggage. It's a complicated topic. There are obviously different types of suitcases. Please avoid trolleys. Personally, that's my piece of advice because it's not the best choice. Beh, è quello che chiediamo anche noi, infatti molto utile questa infografica no sì, perché in realtà quello That's what we advise as well. That's what advise as well. And in fact, this no yes infographic is very useful because what we're really asking is to avoid hard suitcases such as trolleys and to favor duffel bags and soft luggages. It's a matter of space because you can easily empty a bag on board and put it in some compartment very safely. On the other hand, the trolley is very demanding and very bulky. Bring a swimsuit, sunscreen, a cover-up and a pair of flip-flops should be enough. Life on a boat is very simple. You don't have to dry your hair, it dries thanks to the wind. As they say in Italy, it's a Spartan way of living. It's a bit of a floating campsite in some ways, so you don't need much to be comfortable. There's no need to stress about carrying so many suitcases. C'è bisogno di stressarsi tanto per portare tante valigie. E infine ci sono loro, non li abbiamo dimenticati, i nostri amici a quattro zampe. Last but not least, we have them, our four-legged friends. We haven't forgotten them. Although, unfortunately, they are often not accepted. However, there are charter companies that authorize them on board, that actually want our four-legged friends to accompany us on our wonderful experience. Am I right? Sì, noi vogliamo sempre cercare di accogliere a bordo gli animali il più possibile. Yes, we always want to try to accommodate animals on board as much as possible. Obviously, it's a bit difficult logistically to accommodate a golden retriever on a 30-footer, but we always try to say yes as much as possible to our customers so that they can share their holiday with their pets. E poi come si fa a dire no? How can you say no to such beautiful snouts? No, it's impossible. In fact, I have to admit that when we say no, perhaps because the size of the dog is too big, they send us pictures and say, but why can't he come? Take a good look at him. Let him come, please. And of course, it becomes difficult to say no.